The fish market was opened in 1997 and by 2011 was renamed the Millicent Eiffel Fish Market. The project was confirmed in 2018 and on September 21st was officially opened for the fishing community with upgrades such as vendor's bathroom with showers, a walk-in freezer, disabled access throughout the building and separate fish retail and processing areas. At the unveiling of the facility was Minister of Tourism and International Transport Ian Gooding Edgel and he commended the Barbados Port Inc. for a job well done on the facility. He said the project cost some 2.7 million Barbados dollars and while he's satisfied with the opening, there is still another phase for the centre. This reconstruction addressed several shortcomings at the old facility related to sanitation, storage and amenities like public bathrooms, parking facilities and recreational spaces. Here at Weston, the next phase of development will include the construction of a boat hollow slip away and a retaining wall to ensure some proper protection to the beaches and coastal structures against wave action, the impacts of which were witnessed during the recent passage of Hurricane Barrel. Minister Gooding Edgel also said there are plans for upgrades of the shallow draft marina and gave some updates on what will be done. The Barbados Port Inc., as you may be aware, is also upgrading the shallow draft marina to provide 70 additional berths. The project, including the construction of wave attenuation structures to reduce wave energy during extreme weather events. The structures were put to the test during Hurricane Beryl and from all reports, perform remarkably well with waters remaining calm within the marina. Minister of the Environment, National Beautification, Green and Blue Economy, Adrian Ford, said that after Hurricane Beryl, fisher folk were on the back foot as 64 boats were destroyed, while over 160 boats recorded some damage. He said that the payment to the fisher folk has started. The payments have started for those fishermen uh, who were interrupted in terms of their business. And uh, I know some of y'all would have seen some additions to your accounts. Um, we have also started the payments for the repairs, the 25% payment for the repairs. We will continue apace to ensure that you have an industry that you can go back to. We are operating on the simple mantra of rescue, restore, and rebuild. Millicent Millie Eiffel was the oldest fish vendor in the western area and a pillar to the fishing village for many years. The center is a testament to her legacy in the fishing arena. Akim Klinkit, CBC News.